Okay, so it looks like the sun has finally decided to come out. I'm gonna give it a bit of time to dry up before I get underneath and get started. What is happening everyone? My name is Adrian and welcome back to another episode of What The Pun. <laughs> Hope you're all doing good, doing great. Uh, I'm okay, I'm doing good. Um, weather is looking promising for what I want to do today. Hopefully it stays decent. But uh, it, what am I going to be doing in today's video? So in today's video, I put, I'm hoping to put something together to help all my car enthusiasts out there because you're on what the pun. And if you're on this channel, you should, I'm, I believe you're a car enthusiast like myself. Uh, so today I'm putting together a video to help those of you out there that want to feel a bit more confident in doing work in your own car. So basically today is a guide on how to do an oil and oil filter service on your own car. Uh, it doesn't have to spe be specifically the same car as myself because generically doing an oil and oil filter service is very similar to one or the other car. You just need to make sure you have the right tools for uh, certain bits like your sump plug or your oil filter uh, and make sure you have the, um, the right oil for your vehicle as well. So. In today's video, I'll be not only going through the start and finish of an oil and oil filter service on my newly picked up uh, Saint Leon FRST 1.5 liter TSI engine. Um, yeah, so I'll be going from start to finish on the whole procedure, as well as guiding you through what kind of tools I use for this procedure. Uh, luckily for myself, you know, I picked up quite a number of tools and picked up quite a lot of different techniques and experience through just learning from my friends, from videos, and it's helped me build, build up confidence to feeling comfortable in doing work on my own vehicles. There are certain things I'm not quite comfortable yet, but hopefully I'll get around to that at some point as well, but it's just making sure you have the right tools and feeling com comfortable in doing bits on your own vehicle. So hopefully this ve uh, vehicle, hopefully this video will help you start to get going with working on your own car, building up confidence uh, for yourself as well and just making sure you're doing the job right. So like I said, throughout this video I'll be sharing the tools that I've picked up over time so some bits I recommend, I'll also share links with those tools as well uh, and yes, yeah, just getting the job done from start to finish so you can see how that whole procedure works. So let's get started shall we? Okay so before we get started before we even get underneath the car and start draining oil and removing bits, we want to make sure we have the right stuff to put uh, top up and refill or whatever, put back into the car as well. So starting off with the oil, uh, oil. you can find out what oil you need for your car from either your owner's manual, that should give you the recommended oil to be used on your vehicle. Otherwise, a lot of parts website after you enter the de details of your vehicle, it should show up or filter out just the oil recommended for your car as well. Uh, after you've picked up the correct oil for your car, oil filter. So the oil filter, you can either get the manufacturer's one from the parts department for your car's manufacturer. In my case, my Seat Leon shares the same oil filter as the Volkswagen equivalent. So I went directly to uh, a, my local Volkswagen parts uh, dealer to get hold of the oil filter. And um, whilst you're there, might as well get a replacement sump plug as well. Just um, Typically you don't need a replacement sump plug, you just need the replacement, um, the ring, uh, washer, ring, washer, washer, ring, <laughs> uh, you just need that, uh, which was, should be fine, but in this case I just wanted to replace it with a new sump plug as well. So yeah, uh, make sure you have the right things to get started before you start removing and draining things from the car. Okay, so now we have our oil oil filter and sump plug, you're pretty much good to go. And hopefully you have a decent tool set, but if you don't have a decent tool set, I would recommend getting a tool set that has a good range of bits, like a fully loaded kit. So don't cheap out and get a small incy wincy tool kit and think that'll do the job. 
Uh, to be fair, even getting a fully lo loaded one, you're most likely going to need to buy more tools in the future as well for different parts of your car because that's how it works, you're never going to have enough tools but to get yourself started with a nice fully loaded kit with a nice variation of different sizes of bits and sockets is a nice way to start so I will share on screen the one I have which is done, which is done pretty well, done me pretty well but obviously I've picked up different bits over the you know, over time because I've obviously needed more variations of or very specific sockets or bits for other bits on the car but to get started this one that I have on the screen probably here now uh, is a nice way to get yourself started and throughout the video I'm gonna have share different tools specific to my vehicle as well so yeah this is a nice place to get started with this tool set Okay, so before I get started, I just want to say an oil and oil filter change is, I believe, I feel like, one of the few things to get yourself started with your own car to make yourself feel confident enough to start getting into other bits on your car. So if you're a beginner and you're looking to you know, take more care of your car and uh, start to build up that confidence to do other work on your car then starting off with an oil and oil filter change I believe is a nice step to get yourself feeling very confident so uh, before I picked I, I picked such a lovely day to, to do this haven't I uh, it should dry up very soon I, I hope it's the weather report says it should dry up very soon but as we get as we go on it should dry up but uh, before you get started getting your car set up uh, safe and stable high enough for you to go underneath and securing it is the first thing you need to do so let me show you my setup so this is my setup I like using these uh, things here called race ramps because for oil service I can literally just roll up uh, onto these and the car is high enough for me to do an oil and oil filter change uh, using a trolley jack and jack stands perfectly fine but I just find that's a bit more of a faff just to do a oil service but yeah um, if you're interested in these I will pop a link in, the, in my bio and so will I put I would also put uh, the trolley jack and jack stands that I use in the links in the bio as well uh, but one thing to bear in mind do make sure whatever you're using is uh, capable of supporting the weight of your car because there are jack stands and trolley jacks that aren't quite designed uh, to support a heavier car okay so let's move on before we can get started with any work underneath here um, before we can even remove the, uh, get the oil dropped and remove the filter uh, we're going to need to remove this tray underneath here 99% of cars I'm very likely going to have one of these uh, small big whatever it's there to protect the underside of the car so um, to remove mine uh, in my case I believe it's quite a number of T18s T45s if I got it wrong I will have the correct tools on the screen but once I have those screws removed, I can remove the tray and get started. So let's get this process started with first. Cool, now that that tray is out of the way, now we can see the oil filter and not too far away from that, we have the sump plug. So 
this will be the first thing we'll need to remove. Once this is removed, it will drain all the oil. So where do I put all that oil? Let me show you. Okay, so when you do remove the, the sump plug, where does all that oil go to? So you need one of these. This is uh, about five liters. Yes, this ca uh, carries about five liters. So majority of, majority of cars, this is more than enough. And uh, what I also use is one of these trays as well. So I'll have this sitting on top of this tray, let the oil drain into, um, drain into this. In case there's any accidents, I always have this tray to catch any extras or any spillages because I don't like making a mess. Um, if it all spills all, all over the garage, it's a nightmare to wash. If it's all over the driveway, driveway, drive, driveway <laughs> it looks a mess and it's a nightmare to wash as well. So me being me, I got one of these trays just in case. I'll have the links to this in the description box in the bio or on the screen. But um, in regards to removing the sump plug, I will show you uh, what I'll be using. So for removing the sump plug and the oil filter, in my case, I believe I will need a 19 mil. 19 could be 18 uh, could be 20 I will correct myself if I'm I am wrong during the process but I believe it's the 19 because my 19 looks pretty dirty and well moderately dirty and used compared to the 18 and the 20 and then for the oil filter one of these I'll put both tools in the bio or on screen so you can get hold of one of these if you don't have already in regards to this uh, to remove the oil filter, there are other tools like a kind of like chain thingy that catches around uh, or claw thingy or rubber thing that tightens it around the oil filter but I tend to find the correct fitment for your oil filter, these kind of things tend to work best. I tend to find the other ones don't quite grab on quite as well and if you um, have service your car beforehand and they've done it mad tight, too tight uh, according to manufacturer spec then those other tools may struggle whereas this would do the job cool all right let me get the oil drains and remove the oil filter and we'll get on to the next step cool well missed the excitement because i forgot to press the record button but um yeah that was where all the oil was coming out when I took the sump plug off. Uh, yeah, missed all the fun. This is kind of like the uh, the end of the show, basically. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave this for a while, just so all the little final bits of oil comes out. But um, yeah, um, yeah. Thanks. I mean, uh, you're welcome. Uh, I forgot to press record, so we missed all the um, the earlier oil draining action but uh yeah this is the final parts of it basically so i'll give this another 10 minutes just so everything comes out and then we'll move on to the uh, oil filter next so just to bear in mind when you're removing the oil filter that it will have a bit of oil seeping out of it as well so let that happily drain as well before you replace it with the new oil filter Okay, so oil filter. This is the old one, not Volkswagen branded, but it is a man filter. Man filter. <laughs> Sorry. But um, yeah, Volkswagen usually use uh, this brand's filter anyways, and they just rebrand it. So it's a decent one to be fair, and not looking. the oil's not looking that old, but uh, me being me, I just had to do an oil change on this car just to feel at ease that I've done it, and I know it's got good oil. And a good filter in there <laughs> it's just for peace of mind but let's have a look at the new one from volkswagen um a lot more writing on here um yeah volkswagen branded uh part number and everything uh do make sure when you put this before you put this on dab some old oil all around here just so it creates a nice tight little seal and when you torque it up uh, I believe it should be 20 newton meters of torque just so it's sitting there at the correct settings, not too tight, not too loose, just 
the right amount uh, recommended by the manufacturer. Okay, so I'm get, gonna get this done and then we should be ready for the fresh oil soon. Great, as I'm about to finish up here, this is now at 20 newton meters of torque. Sump plug is hand tight, that'll be fine. I'm gonna clean this up with brake cleaner, just make sure there's no leaks before I put the oil in. And uh, yeah, perfect timing because it decided to start raining again. Whilst I'm waiting for the weather outside to calm down again before I fill the car with oil, let's have a look at this thing. What is this? So I use this. This is actually a very good tool. I fill this up with the amount of oil I need for my engine. Uh, just avoid creating a mess again because for those of you that have tried to top up your engine oil or fill up your engine oil with the container that it comes with it's most of the time it's, it will create a mess uh, unless you've got very good techers and uh, but to avoid that in this situation I just fill up the oil in here and glup, 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 into the engine mess avoided calm I think it's starting to calm down so I'm gonna get this topped up and top up the car Okay, so I think I'll put about almost 4 litres of oil in the car now. Recommended amount for this engine is about 4.3, but I want to do the rest whilst the car is on a flat surface, so I'm going to bring the car back down. Uh, looking good so far, there's no leaks from the oil filter or the sump plug, so they're nice and tightened. So yeah, put the car back down and finish the rest of the job up, but uh, I'm going to put the tray in first and then bring the car back down. Alright, cool. Let's finish this up. Just like that, the oil and the oil filter, done. <laughs> looks simple, right? I hope it looks simple. But yes, um, I hope with this video, uh, it's helped some of you feel a bit more confidence and, and I hope it's become like a guide for you to, to help you with doing work on your own car and to feel a bit more confident in doing work on your own vehicles. Because at the end of the day, we do this because we love our cars and we want to make sure we look after it. So um, like I said before, I am not a trained mechanic. A lot of these skills I've gained throughout time and doing more work on my car and just building confidence in doing these things. It's very scary at first because you want to make sure you do it right, but you know, all of this stuff is just through repetition, research, learning basically. So. Um, Throughout the video, I've shared links to the different tools I've used. I've also have the same links in the description that box down below. So if you need to pick up anything, feel free to uh, follow those links. You can pick up the same tools I've used in the video. But from me, that is all this week. 
Um, yeah, it's getting a bit more difficult to do videos this time of the year because, like you've seen in today's video, uh, weather's been on and off, on and off, so it's hard to film certain things. I might be doing some videos soon in the garage on the Golf R, but uh, for now, from me, that is all this week. I'll see you all next time, whenever that will be, but yes, take care, love you all, bye-bye.